Hello everybody, today I will be showing how to build a middle house in Minecraft. So firstly I will show you the palette, then I'll show you some templates I built which you can use yourself to build your own house. And finally I will build a house in front of you. So there will be a timestamp in the description of me building the house and if you just want to see that, just jump right to that I guess. So firstly the palette, it's a rather simplistic one, you can see it's oak and spruce wood then we have some stone which is cobble polished andesite and stone bricks we also have some leaves and sweet berries as decoration and we have a button stone button we also have wool and finally glass so yeah let's move on to the templates i built so you can see here is for a bit of a smaller house you can see that I kind of segmented it into the stone part and the wooden part. So the stone part you can see it's many towards the ground so it, it appears as it's the base of it. So it looks a bit sturdy. And yeah, the second floor is made up completely out of wood. Uh, so yeah, you can see that the roof is built out of stone bricks and spruce. I think it goes well with this type of roof. It goes well with oak because of just because of the variation of color. So here you can see for a bit of a bigger house you can see that the first floor here is completely built out of stone. At least the wall is. The edges are made out of logs which I think are cool. You can also see that I added stairs instead of trapdoors. Uh, it's kind of a support. You can see that here's a bit of an arch so that the window has a bit more of a definition that looks a bit cool. And yeah, the upper floor you can see is also made out of wool in combination with wood. So yeah, let's move on to a bit of a bigger house. So here you can really see that I segmented the materials by the floor on which they appear. And the first floor is made out of stone, second is made out of wood. And the third one is made out of wool. Now, there you can combine on the second floor wool and wood and it will also look cool. Something like in this house. But yeah, so you can see this one is a bit different compared to all the rest because it has the wall is not built on the same line as the locks. So that makes it, it gives the house a bit more profile. But if you build it on the same line as the logs, it's also okay. So this would, if you would build a house, uh, and this would be the front, this would basically be the back. Or so, yeah. Uh, on, in this one, you can see that the wall is built the same as the logs, and yeah, there's not much special about it. You can see that the window instead of the shutters, it has little fences. Which in my opinion just makes it look a bit better, just like the smallest house I built. And yeah, the final floor is as, just as the previous house. The third floor is completely made out of wood. The second out of wood and fourth floor is made out of stone. So this would be the front of the house, which and it would be on the wider part of the house. And this one would be on the narrower. So you can see that here is, as well, it's segmented. The first floor is completely made out of stone and the second floor is made out of wood. Uh, you can see that I didn't use any wool here because there's really no place where I could put it. So yeah, I was... Because the side of the house also has this part of the roof already covering it. So it, there isn't much of a place on second floor to build. So yeah, this would be the side of the house. If you, let's say, you build, this would be the front, this would be the back of the house, and this would be on the right and the left, on the left side of the house. If you, this would be the front, this would be the left and the right side of the house, and that one would be the back. So let's get to building. So I will first use polish and the side as the base. So this one, I'll, I'll make the walls not be in the same line as locks. It can look a bit better. It can. Oh, it looks better. 
there isn't any downsides to it in my opinion. I'll use the stairs just to make it look it appear a bit more sturdier. Also if you're wondering why I put these uh, black and white concretes like this in it, so it's so that you can see yourself for yourself how to build it, the dimensions and everything. So yeah, you, you can see I already built the outline of it with the logs and the roof. The roof takes quite some time to build, so yeah. Let's get to the rest of building. So you can see this is the pallet, the one I mainly use. So yeah, the doors to be a double door. And yeah, so usually I use for the second layer. I usually use uh, stone bricks. I just think it looks good. And then for the third layer of the house, well, of the first floor, I usually use uh, cobblestone just to give it a just a tiny bit of a variation in the building material so it's not just all the same and yeah I, I usually I either leave uh, I guess one block apart or maybe two uh, depends on how I'm feeling how I think it should look and yeah so you can see the house is slowly and but surely starting to look how it should so yeah as you can see I'm using cobblestone now as the final layer now or here we will make it we'll add some bushes we'll put these trapdoors like this so here's a little pull trick I'll use stone bricks as such so they'll be flipped on their head we'll put this two spruce fence here and finally we'll use these uh, stone bricks stairs a bit of a decoration, I guess, so just so it makes it a bit nicer. And yeah, let's put some cobble here as well. Uh, apparently, some pets decided that this will be their house now, rather than they will live near it, so yeah, we'll just ignore them for now. And it will get in the way, they will have to get rid of them one way or another. So yeah, let's build the windows over here as well. Now, I like to add the bushes in front of the trees, I just think it looks nice, I guess. And yeah, I usually use spruce trapdoors just to make it so it appears that there is a bit of a fence, I guess, that covers it. So I would use uh, the spruce fence, the actual fence, to go up to the lock so that it looks it has a bit of support i'll also use these stairs as such so that it also gives the appearance of support and yeah we'll also put these stairs well i'll use actually the cobblestone ones on each edge of the bushes so just so it gives a that bit of a detail I guess and yeah so we'll put buttons on each side of the house no the house the logs and yeah uh, apparently the world decided it has to rain so <laughs> yeah not much to it well, I, I mean I'm not bothered by rain so I'll leave it as such so I will build the entrance like this I usually leave just one space so I can put on a lantern uh, that way it looks a bit more just that a bit more inviting and I will also place these stone bricks now you can also place fences if you want to it both looks okay so this is how it looks with stone bricks and this side looks with spruce fences it adds a bit of variation and color so if you prefer this use this if not then just use the brick wall so yeah uh, we will start moving to building the second floor. We also have to finish the left side of the house. We can't forget about it. So we'll basically copy the same style as we did on the previous one. And yeah. And the beds will have to go. And I'll see you when I'm done with it. Okay, so now I'm back. So you can see I finished the first floor. It looks, it looks alright. I mean, I will also add bushes here. As for that little bit of variation, now there's also one thing you can add, it's sweet berries on the sides, but I prefer not to, so to, to inch their own, I guess. So now we'll go on to building the second floor. So the second floor will be built completely out of wood, and yeah, let's get to making it, I guess. So 
I will just make the base of the whole thingy of the I guess of the I will basically segment the wall into two parts. I will divide them with the spruce lock, which also means that I'll add it here because I think it looks a bit better or there. So with the window panes here. I like to put some bushes like this. And yeah, I'll use the oak trapdoor right here because in my opinion it it looks better just because it makes it not that I mean it, you can actually see the bush because of it. If you would put the spruce trapdoor you wouldn't be able to see the the bush. Now you can either add fences here or you can make something else like I'll cur I decided to put it like this and I'll put fences so that it looks a bit nicer it looks like it's hanging from the roof and yeah oh when did I put away the eh yeah a bit of a technical difficulties uh, oh. yeah so this is how I decided to build this part of of the wall and yeah you can just put like this and it looks nice it looks nice and pretty I guess yeah. And yeah so the front of the house and you can also use a bit of a different you have a lot of variations so yeah I mean just in this video you had seen quite a few so I think you'll be more than ready to build your own house and yeah you'll have I guess a bit of inspiration on how to build it. So let's see. We'll use spruce door, uh, spruce trap doors here instead of the fence, uh, so that it, it looks just that a bit nicer in my opinion. So back to oak spruce stairs. Uh, so yeah, uh, oak trap door here, here. So let's put the little overhang here as well and yeah this is the front of the house finished uh, now there are two options you can make the same one at the back of the house but just for the sake of the video i'll make a bit of a different one uh, i'll still use the same kind of the same style the window will be the same size just it will be a small variation of it instead of the trapdoors uh, there will be fences, so yeah. And you just put stairs like this. You put the trap doors on the bushes and the little overhang. Now you can decorate the walls in between trap doors just so that it appears a bit nicer, but let's not do that right now. Uh, and I also don't like doing it, so yeah, I'll copy symbol there and yeah this will be basically for the second floor the second floor finished I guess and yeah let's just finish it I want to do the same window source on that side just so that it has a bit of variation it doesn't look all the same so yeah uh, let's see yeah, use this trapdoors as shutters I'll also use the stairs as a bit of an overhang, so just so it looks a bit nicer. And it's a bit of detail, the house looks a bit 3D, and yeah, this will be the overhang. And finally, you can use the oak trap door as a bit of a decoration under the windows. Now, there's you can also use this, but to inch the wrong, I guess. Whichever you prefer. I mean, on the left side you can see with the trapdoors, and on the right side you can see with the stairs. Now, finally, we'll go on to the third floor, which will be made out of wool completely. So I'll fill it in nice and smoothly. Opa, that was a bit of a misclick, but uh, it happens. But I won't worry about it. Uh, let's put the just add a bit of variation the stairs like this I'll also put the fence this direction 
you can maybe you can also put it like this depends on how you like it i honestly <laughs> like this look but i would stick with this one but the problem is that the fence doesn't connect so that makes it look a bit meh so i'll also copy this style on the other side and yeah this will be mainly it for this video i hope you found it helpful I hope you learned from it, I hope I demonstrated to you well enough so that you can build on your own. Uh, so yeah, basically some tips. Uh, you want to decorate it, you want to make it look a bit more 3D. Uh, you don't want to make it too fancy I guess, because then it looks a bit... it stops looking good I guess if you go over the board with the details, but yeah. In general, you can use the, this simple template, but yeah, this will basically be it. Till next time, bye bye.